what's up guys it has been it's been a little while since I made a video it's been even longer since I gave you guys an update on my battery experiment yes it is still going on um, if you hadn't noticed the uh, the spreadsheet that I'm doing in Google Docs link below I'm still updating it with uh, the internal resistance of the batteries the number of cycles uh, and occasionally I do what I'm gonna do today which is I just record the max current draw the minimum voltage so that you kind of get an idea of how the uh, batteries are handling the sag as well as uh, I'm gonna try to today add in the uh, milliamp hour consumed so that you know how down I flew it so it's not like oh he flew it at only half the pack and that's those are the numbers so yeah we're here in the field we're at the trailer park nothing too crazy just uh, one of our solid local Atlanta spots real quick guys I just want to let you know I started this experiment yesterday but what I didn't take into account is how freaking gorgeous it is and uh, I went to some parks in Atlanta and parks inside the city on days that are this crazy pretty um, the parks are just packed. There is no way to uh, to fly them. So I flew three of my packs yesterday to get the max current draw and the max, uh, the minimum voltage. And I'm gonna do the rest of them today. This is all on the Betaflight board. I'm using the OSD. It's not exact, but you know, I've calibrated the, uh, the current sensor to the point um, that the milliamp drawn shown on the OSD is essentially identical to the milliamp hour that I end up putting back into the uh, battery at, when I go to charge it. So it's not exact, but it's, it's close enough that it's gonna do a good job of giving us an indication here as to what we're seeing. So um, after that's done, I'm gonna fly the rest of my packs on my new Race Flight 1 quad and give you guys some of my first impressions of Race Flight 1. So far, I'm really uh, digging it and hopefully uh, today's testing just continues to confirm that. So yeah, let's go fly. Side note guys, if you haven't seen my earlier uh, battery test videos, go and check those out. I'm gonna have a link in the description below to the first two videos so that you know what I'm talking about and what it is that I'm testing and how this experiment is set up. Um, but yes, this is just an update to all to that same experiment. Okay guys, so I wanna just give you kind of a rundown of the numbers. Yes, you can look at this right here, what I'm gonna be looking at. The spreadsheet, it's a Google Docs, sheets google sheets i don't know whatever you get the idea it's in the google family i got a link below you can check it out uh and if you want to look over it at the same time as i am um in terms of cycles for the first uh i don't know for the first couple of weeks i was not counting cycles until someone suggested it that's kind of how this experiment has gone like i had an original idea and then people are like well you should collect this data and you should collect that data and i keep adding more and more data um, collection in as we go. So yeah, they probably missed a good mm, five or so cycles, not that many. If you look here uh, in terms of how many cycles each battery has so far, um, they're really 
still fairly young batteries, you know, like 10 to 15 cycles per pack, essentially. Um, and the way that I've delineated cycles is I just put like another eye each time I do it. And I was collecting the data and I just made a new column for more cycles after the 22nd of this month to, so that you can kind of see where the numbers are at as they go along. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, in terms of differences, yes, this is a quote unquote double blind. Um, I don't know uh, which batteries are which, you don't know which batteries are which, um, but in terms of like the uh, internal resistance among the cells, uh, you might be able to see that it's creep, I don't, no, no, it, you can't, over, the average numbers may be creeping up just ever so slightly as the batteries age, but there's not really enough data to suggest any difference between the, the batteries in terms of internal resistance. In today's, um, today and yesterday's uh, tests where I was just checking the max current that was drawn and the minimum voltage recordings in flight, everything was like right around 13.1 to 13.4 um, volts and at the minimum voltage withdrawing anywhere from 57 amps to 69 amps in flight so it, nothing really seems out of the ordinary everything is pretty much where i would expect it to be not feeling any difference in terms of performance out of the uh batteries uh, I have lost, as you probably may remember, back in January, I lost a pack that had a cell just go dead from damage. <laughs> this week, when I was doing my internal resistance test one, like most of the time, all of these are at, you know, anywhere from 4.8 to 6 or 7, yeah, 7.4 milliohm. Um, I had one cell that was at 20 milliohm, and uh, the flight of it... <sighs> Uh, you know, I, I kind of want to throw out that data because obviously it had a little bit of a, a damage. It was punctured. I probably shouldn't have even charged it, but I was, I wanted to see how it did at 20 milliohms. I was curious. Um, so charged it up just to let you know it sagged to like 11 volts um, off of the same kind of current draw. And when it was done, th that one cell was way more discharged. It was from yesterday. It was from that boring spot. Trust me, it was boring. Look, look, here. See, I told you it was a boring spot. It was teeny tiny, like a postage stamp. Um, but uh, yeah, it sagged to 11 volts, so I forgot to write it down. And I don't have the actual recording of me talking to the camera saying what it was with me, but just know it was about 11 volts. I'll add that in tonight when I'm doing everything uh, and editing this video for you guys. So yeah, but what it all boils down to is at this point in the experiment, it's still too early to say I can see a difference. I'm hoping that eventually I will be able to see a difference uh, in performance for conditioned batteries versus non-conditioned batteries. But as of right now, it's, uh, it's kind of a wash. They all look the same. They're all still, like I said, fairly new, fairly fresh packs. I just want to give you guys an update because I'm getting a lot of questions about how's the battery experiment going, blah, blah, blah. So I wanted to come along and give you that. Yeah, well, that all being said, um, I'm going to go play around with Race Flight 1. It's kind of a windy day, so if you've seen any weirdness in the tune, it's probably just due to a, a ton of wind. And so Race Flight 1 is probably going to be a little finicky, too. I'm not going to mess with tuning today. I'm just still trying to get a feel for how Race Flight 1 flies. So let's go just give you some Race Flight 1 samples uh, before we close out today's video. All right, guys, I'll see you in a minute.
Dude, I wish that I had me calling this on video. I don't, all my packs are done. John's got a few left. He's like, I am destroying this spot. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, tap in. I'm like, you know as soon as I tap in, you're gonna get stuck in a tree or explode every battery and uh, it's gonna be bad. Literally 10 seconds after I got my channel changed on my goggles, guess what happened? Where am I? Oh God, watch out, falling rock. What did you carry that with you? I don't know. Dude, that was a hit. I even got that on film. Oh, oh. You might be able to pulse the motors now. Wait. <laughs> uh, wait, your motor came off again. Oh no! Is that the same, it is the same one. That motor is cursed. The lesson from this is don't tell your buddy you're killing it and that he should tune in because bad things will happen. <laughs> I'm killing it! Watch this! <laughs> and done. That's exactly right. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. I know that uh, it's not the most definitive uh, answer yet, but the experiment is still going on. I said from the beginning that it was gonna be a long-term experiment. I'm basically waiting until the batteries are dead and I'm having to retire them. So that could be another month, could be another two months, just depends on how much actual flying I manage to get in. Um, I do appreciate you joining us. If you found this info helpful or if you just enjoyed watching the flying and stuff, please click that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe, come back, check out other videos, let me know what you thought in the comments, and uh, we'll see you next time. I got a couple more ideas for videos coming up over the weekend, so hopefully get those done before I have to go back to work. <laughs> Sprite. All right. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Later.